Welcome to another episode of Lineman Talk. Today we're going to talk about a recent malfunction that we had on an OCR, oil circuit recloser. Line crews will call them breakers and we have them everywhere. Our own call crew worked trouble recently and they had a blown transformer fuse on a 50 kVA. Line voltage was 14.4 kV, single phase, and he replaced the transformer fuse. When he closed it, it blew. Then he got a call from our control center saying everybody was out. So he went back up the line and found that this recloser was open with the handle up. So he messed with it, couldn't get it to reclose, wound up putting a bypass in. Today, what I want to do is talk about why oil circuit reclosers become undependable. We will connect it to the Miller welder and pass a small fault to it. We'll see if it does a open with handle up or if it goes to uh, lockout. A little later, what I wanna do is I wanna untank this OCR that's been in the air this recloser is manufactured in 05, at the end of 05. So if we put this one up brand new, 16 years, been hanging on the pole, taking hit after hit after hit over the 16 years. And they're immersed in mineral oil. Eventually the mineral oil gets so dirty that the solenoid and the plungers just are unreliable they just don't work well anymore here is a small one that just came out of our rewind shop rework and we'll compare this oil brand new to this oil this is a 4e at 50 amp continuous it has a maximum amp interrupting current of 2500 amps good size breaker it's our baby breaker for 14.4 Y and so if you'll stay with me what we'll do is we'll connect the welder pass the fault then we'll compare the oils but the thing that we try to emphasize in these videos what comes first safety so we've got our rubber gloves that we'll use when the electric welder is running. And we have our protective gloves that we'll use when we're untanking the OCRs. So stay with me. I'll stitch all this together and hopefully it'll be beneficial to you. Now let's see if we can make this recloser malfunction like it did the other night. Remember this is a 100 amp trip coil, 50 amp continuous, type E. The other night it went to open with handle up. I checked the electronic recloser that serves this location. We had three events that day. It was 800 amps, 1200 amps, and then the last one that locked this device open on one shot was just under 500 amps. So let's see what happens. The welder can only supply about 250 amps. So you can see there's a little spread between what actually happened and then what we're going to try to recreate. Okay, so you heard the big clank. That's the type E coming open. We'll untank it and we'll take a look at the oil. So I brought up another recloser, a little one that came from our stock, ready to be hung pile. And we're gonna compare the oil from that one to the oil in this one. So let's loosen the lids, access the oil. And then we'll be able to compare those two. This one that just come out of my rework shop this one that's been in the air taking hits for the last 15 years. 
remember, safety comes first. So we're gonna put on some protective gloves. We'll strip this bushing. Perfect. Now we'll loosen the can lid. Do the same thing to the Baby 50. All right, now that we have both cans, both reclosers ready to untank, we'll take just, we'll take a break for just a second. Now we'll untank the Baby 50. See if we can get in here and get a little oil. All right, now we'll untank the 50 Type E. This is from the good one. This is from the bad one. So the black one, the very dark one, is the oil from the 50 amp continuous type E that was on a 14.4 line. Been in the air 15 years. Can't see through it. It's taken many hits. This is what the oil is supposed to look like. This is what we're dealing with, and I blame most OCR malfunctions on dirty oil. Well, thanks for sticking around and watching the entire video. You can see how maintenance on the OCR has an effect on reliability. When the oil is clean, new, the recloser is going to work like it was designed to work. When the oil gets nasty, dirty, and it affects the operation of the reclosing mechanism, the OCR becomes unreliable. We don't know whether it's gonna do a one shot, four shots, whether it's even gonna work at all. So I appreciate you sticking around and I'll look forward to visiting with you again on the next episode of Lyman Talk.